Things here on the carnivore section at Auckland Zoo are incredibly busy. We've got a lot that we've got to do around our many different animals to make sure that they're all good after the night that we've had away from them. Tigers in the morning, depending on the day, it can be relatively straightforward or it can be a little bit more complex. On a Monday morning, for example, we have to weigh all our tigers to make sure that they're on track with their health. Uh, they've all got individual food amounts, so it's very important that everyone gets the right diet. And then once they're all shut in, we have to then clean the enclosures, make sure that they're nice and safe for the tigers to go back out. Oh, you're so good. You're so, so good. Every morning with the cheetah, we actually take them for walks out and around the zoo um, to provide them with a lot of stimulation. Obviously, patrolling the territory is a really important behaviour. What's your brother doing? He's so silly. And um, because they are habituated to being around people, it means that other times during the week, we can actually provide really close encounters to get people to learn a little bit more about them and um, the troubles that they're actually facing out in the wild. On the carnivore section, we're also lucky to have what I think are some of the cutest animals in the zoo. We've got our beautiful Nepalese red panda, they're beautiful to look at. Um, quite unbelievable that such an adorable animal can rough it out there in the wild. And we've also got um, otters, which are not only very, very cute, but incredibly naughty and really keep us on our toes when we're working them. Hello. They're getting a mixture, they've got chicken, they've got um, salmon and a few veggies as well because we keep a close eye on their weight. Part of their diet then we scatter this marinara mix which is um, quite large volume but very low on calories. Nice for them to be able to forage and spend time eating it without putting on the weight. <laughs> the meerkats can be a little bit of a challenge during winter uh, in the mornings on carnivores. It does take a little while for them to wake up uh, so sometimes we do have to wait and come back to them once the sun's up. We've got a mixture of slaters and mealworms as well. Insects are their favourite things really, so yeah, you'll see them go nuts over these. about working in a zoo is that every day is completely different and I get to work with some of the most beautiful animals on this planet and also some of the most endangered animals on this planet. I get to teach people about um, the issues that they're facing and I also get to work with a huge number of um, really, really passionate individuals that share the same values that I do in regards to securing a future for wildlife. <laughs>